Um, I remember when I got a call from Telepictures and they said, congratulations, Fox just bought the show. I, I remember I said, great. And they said, we kind of, you know, thought there'd be a little more enthusiasm. But I was so interested in the web. And I was also really concerned that a television show, because at the time, we were thinking, what the hell is the TV show going to be? Because the last thing we needed was a sixth version of Entertainment Tonight. And then if we pretended to be the web where we're breaking stories in the television show, it'd be false because these stories come up at 11 and 12 and 1 in the afternoon. It wouldn't work. And so we kind of struggled on what a show would be. And it actually took us a little bit of time to kind of figure out that it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the website, but it would complement the website and it would be kind of a funny take on Hollywood. And then we just decided to break everything down and not do a stage, not do anchors, not do directors, and really just make it an office. Creatively and tonally, I think you guys had an idea of what this was going to be. The show all elements might not have all been there, but it, you weren't going to be, you know, your mother's entertainment tonight. Yeah, I mean, it, it started out from the negative, what we didn't want to be. Right. And, and I remember that we had some pressure um, that, you know, the show needed an anchor, and they wanted me to kind of anchor this thing, and I knew it was a bad idea, and then, and then hire reporters. So there was this kind of, not from you guys, but just internally there was a, a resistance just because people weren't used to doing a show with real people with no makeup with, you know, in an office setting. It just seemed kind of radical. So I remember what I did was I, I, we shot a couple in the office, and I brought various people in, and I said, okay, now watch this. What am I adding to this piece? And... I didn't add anything. I mean, there, it, it, you didn't need an anchor for this show. And so I made them acknowledge that you didn't need an anchor. And then we got into the reporters. What are they adding standing there? And then, you know, everybody kind of realized that the traditional model, I'm not sure the traditional model works, period, but it certainly didn't work with us. And what we ended up doing was just stripping it away and then making the voice of the show, the people in the room, who kind of work on all those stories so it became more authentic. If we would have started as a TV show, I'm positive we would have failed. And we kind of fell into this again because I certainly hadn't done anything online, anything digitally before. But I th the two years of doing this just online just created a whole different mindset of how to produce. Because, you know, what I learned very quickly was when you do a website to do it right, to do anything digital, you're not just throwing text up. You're not a writer, you're not a newspaper. You're a producer and you produce. And you know, it, it turns out it's a more complicated, uh, richer experience than television because you have video and photo galleries and photos and text and interactivity. And you learn all these, uh, about, about all these assets and then all of a sudden you think, well, okay, you're, you're putting stuff up and it's raw on the one hand, but really produced on the other. And that takeaway into television allowed us to start thinking in terms of, you know, why do the traditional model? Why not look at the experience we had in the web, this kind of raw richness, and try to create it on that platform? But had we started on TV, I don't know that we would have been thinking that way. So, you know, everything we've done up to this point, we've always started digitally and migrated over to broadcast. It's so funny. I mean, people ask about this. There really are no secrets, and people don't believe this, but we just work hard. And, I, and, and I, that sounds almost ridiculous, but it's true. I mean, when, when we came in on Saturday, uh, we had no idea Aaron, Aaron uh, Moran was going to die, and we had no contact with anybody in that city before Saturday. And we had to make contacts, and we had to call people, and we kind of, you know, not everybody was in the office, but people stopped what they were doing, and they made a lot of phone calls, and we ended up confirming it, and we put it up on the site. And, you know, on a level, that's very scary for us because, in a way, anybody can do this. You know, there... It's more complicated than that in terms of how to produce a story, how to produce a website. But in terms of reporting, um, 
when we break these stories, it's burning up the telephone, it's having many years of contacts with various people in the office, and you know, one person knows somebody else, and I mean, that's the way I've always viewed it, is that, you know, we have a big room. I don't have an office. We have one big room, and everybody knows everybody else's business, and, you know, people here, and there may be somebody in IT who knows somebody that uh, is critical to a story we're working on, and the person in IT becomes a partner, but that's really the way we did this. It is not any kind of a secret on how to report with TMZ Live, I've, I've had this feeling for many years that television is going to go away, and so, will the, and so will digital, so will the internet, that when the screen becomes integrated, and it already is, but fully integrated, um, that people are going to start producing, not for television here and the internet here, they're going to be producing for two things. That's the only reason you go to these two scr to the screen, two reasons entertainment and information that's it and you know what I what I've been thinking is that you should be producing so that you take the assets from uh, digital you know like photo galleries and interactivity and user generated content and that you also use assets from television and blend them and create a show because eventually I think all of that stuff is going to be on one big menu on your screen on your phone whatever but that was the idea behind TMZ Live, that we wanted to create kind of a crude version of this, you know, best assets. And we did it for a while online, and then we went over to Fox and said, you know, put us on one television station. This is a weird show. It's not exactly a talk show. It's not really a celebrity show. It's kind of a news show, but try it. And they put it, uh, they, these guys put it on KTTV, and it went from one market to two markets to four markets to five markets. And we grew this thing, um, and people weren't really used to seeing anything like this where, you know, people from all over the world come in not because you invite them and they appear because they're equal partners with you. And it's much more of, a, of an experience that blends the two platforms, and that was always the idea behind it.